Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to update you guys on what's going on with my 2D RPG here. I uh, haven't worked much on the art, but instead what I've been focusing on these last couple days is my dialogue system, which uh, you may or may not believe is actually a bit of a pain to get working. Uh, there's actually a lot of elements that are going on with it. Um, so right here with the current iteration, and there have been several, uh, the idea here is that you can declare how many lines of dialogue are basically going to happen in your script, uh, chained together, hence the name dialogue chain. And it'll proceed from one line to the next. You have the option of setting choices for the player to respond to. And if there are choices, it's going to basically show a panel down here with the choice like one, two, three, four, very standard stuff. Um, and then you choose that, it proceeds with the script, and if you choose a certain option, it's going to uh, add that as a flag in the game control script. The game control basically for managing persistent data. Um, I followed along this tutorial, unity3d.com, persistent saving and loading data in order to grab the script over here, and I found it to be pretty useful. Um, so currently I do have working saving and loading of data from a file, and it's stored as binary so that players can't mess with it. I might actually want players to be able to mess with it, you know, for um, cheating purposes, basically. I don't care if you cheat in my games, whatever. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and show what it's currently looking like. You also notice it's got a talk sound down there. Um, and in order to show the text, it uses what's called a text mesh. So it's not part of the canvas UI, it's an actual 3D mesh within the game. Uh, though, of course, 2D game and all. You'll notice here I added in some music, but that's kind of uh, secondary to everything. So there we have the script playing. You saw it goes through multiple lines and there's a short delay before it ends. Um, and yeah, the idea, I, I guess it wasn't popping up right there because I'm currently working pretty heavily on it, but, um, yeah, it's supposed to show choices and the choices will pop down here, wait for user input and then proceed past that and set flags. So that should be pretty cool when I actually get it going. Um, kind of complicated. You can see there's a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, for one thing, it creates a text mesh behind the, uh, initial text mesh. So it uses two text meshes, one for the actual text and one for a shadow. Because um, for some reason, for 3D text, there aren't really like these uh, built-in shadows or anything you can add to that, only for the UI text. Now over here for this uh, sad bear character, that's what I'm calling the uh, idling NPC over there. I've actually added in uh, another talk sound form. It's kind of going for a Banjo-Kazooie type style where whenever they talk, they have this indecipherable sound that is unique to each character or at least each major character. So I think that's a pretty fun way to go about doing things. Also kind of like Animal Crossing. So uh, let's just say hey chap right there. Um, choice panel for the game object. I'll uh, actually drop that in there. So give me a second here. And you can see I have my choice panel disabled. It's it's part of the initial scene, but I have it disabled because you don't want it to show unless it's actually requesting a dialogue. Um, and yeah, that should be good to go. So let's go talk to him with his ba sound. And I did just uh, mute the music for your ears. <laughs> so yeah, um, I find it pretty amusing adding those talking sounds to the character. It just plays the sound on every single character. Um, that, that is character in the string that plays out. So it's like H play a sound, E play a sound, and it works out kind of cool. So I suppose that's most of what I have to show for today. I'm uh, going to keep working on that dialogue system and make it so that the choices and the flags set properly because that's really important to any RPG having that kind of dialogue story system. But anyway, I've been Chris. Thanks for taking another look at the progress of my Unity game development, and I'll see you in my future videos.